Kenny Callis, if you're listening, congratulations on your newborn baby. Kenny dropped me off at the airport on Thursday, and I kept giving him crap. I'm like, hey, Kenny, just hop a flight. She's not due till next week. Hop a flight, come down. If she if she goes into labor, you can just hop a flight home. No big deal. Just go to flight. So I get on the plane, turn on my phone. I land here in Austin. I turn on my phone, and Kenny texts me and says, her water broke. Wow. Good thing I didn't come. Shot right now. I'm next. Yeah. So, so, so King's gonna go get shots while we yeah. uh, commentate on his uh, beautiful stream here. No, I'm gonna go get a shot while you commentate. Right. No, I'm gonna get you one. All right, thank you. All right, hey, for Steve, a pleasure. Uh, it. Uh, we, they about okay. So, good match here. We got uh, Steve Eady and uh, Adam Harris. Two solid players in the world last year. Jamaica Bay. So one sets up pretty straightforward. Uh, they're not going. They're just going to go straight at it. High tee with the roll. Very good shot there by Adam. So Steve's gonna come in this with a A1, looks like. It's not gonna push it all the way out to one lined up. He's probably gonna push it a little bit inside of one just to try to bring it back. You are out of the main yeah, he hit halfway. It's gonna looks that's a great shot there. And they're celebrating their uh, nice shot after one, so. Great shot by Adam. So you got to look at these trees a little bit here. Um, you want to make sure you hit a little left. The wind kind of helps bring it back in if you hit it left. So Steve's thinking about the trees in his mind a little bit. So he's going to push it out of here left. Oh, he hit the trees. Uh, yeah. I mean, good thing for that, though, he stayed dry. Yeah, yeah. He easily can get wet there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just ba basically clip them and be a little short and then yeah. end up in the water. But so odds, he's going to lose a stroke here. Um, and that's all you want to do, limit the damage. He's putting roll on this. It's interesting. I know the wind's going to do this. He's being aggressive here. Take. 
He wants to. He doesn't want to lose that stroke. Yeah, apparently. Very good shot. Good shot yeah. yeah. So early on, uh, you know, one stroke, a lot of holes, so we're good. And this is a whole, uh, both of them are really, they're going to go after it. Um, there's not really much, you know, in the way to. Not too much danger. Yeah, not too much danger, so. High thumber, yeah, high bird, yeah, I, I like it. Yeah, good shot. A good sl shot selection, I guess. Execution, pretty good. Left a little short. So, like Steve's doing, same shot here. Not putting bite on it. Looks like he's going to try to make more of a run towards it. If he's going to miss, he's going to end up a little long. He's going to at least give it a chance to go by the hole. Yeah. Wow, and right there. Beautiful man. shot. Not a big miss there. All right, so nothing fancy on this hole. Just punch it out there, hit a good shot, put a little something into it, get out there, make sure you have a shot into the greens. Yeah, the longer you are out here, the, the straighter the wind is. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Don't have to even think about the trees. Where on hole two where Steve dropped the stroke, he had the trees in his mind, and that kind of messed him up. So That catches the green. And yeah. Oh, yeah, very nice shot. Yep. All right, so he's going to get a little aggressive here. He's putting backspin on it, so he's he's wanting to get it close. Oh, changed it to bite. So he's just going to kind of plop it up on the green, let it settle. It's going to be a little left, it looks like, yeah. But so No blood on that hole. Nope. I'm actually going to step out of the booth here for just a second. I'm going to take a quick break. I'm going to have uh, Chris McKenzie coming in. Uh, Mackers, the, uh, the last match we just had with Beatty and Mackers, he's going to come in and... Uh, If you have any questions, you can go ahead and uh, ask what the hell he was thinking uh, when he when he dropped four strokes. <laughs> All right, Max gonna be on here in just a sec. Yep. So I'm joined here. Uh, Mackers uh, still got Derek Montgomery here. Brad uh, Stewart's taking a little break here. So. So, join here. Uh, all right, uh, we got Mackers on here. How it goes, peeps? Peeps, all right. Peeps is join here. So, <laughs> Derek Montgomery, nice to meet you. South Carolina. Chris McKenzie. Chris McKenzie, nice to meet you, man. Canada via Indianapolis, I guess. Oh, nice, nice. Steam's blowing off still a little bit. <laughs> Wish I was playing this match. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it was a, a great match. That one hole, man, killed you, man. Yeah. I mean, four stroke swing was yeah. too tough. Yeah, I mean, you can't overcome that. On, with, with good players, I mean, there's a lot of good players here, and that's no, tough to overcome. So, didn't think I'd uh, hit a eight wood 142 miles an hour, but it happens, I guess. Yeah. Steve hung in there. Yeah, he just kind of some, somewhat stayed the course on that one, and good match it, it you hate to see that like you know right but. well that's been my weekend i was <laughs> i had a up two on uh, king kong on 17 and went down one and saw three shots swing that wow. as well so 
Oh, well, I had fun, though. Oh, yeah. Well, that's what matters. I mean, that's why we're all here, because we love going to you, and we enjoy it, and right. we have a good time. Faux show. So, Adam, oh, oh wow, great, shot. yeah. Just pop that on up there and let it settle. He had a comfortable lead in his first match against Lodell, and I guess Lodell got it back from down five to even, and sitting on 18. Good for Lodell to come back like that. All right, so Steve's going to kind of smooth that eight wood up there and let that backspin kind of bring it back down to the hole. So, a little short. Yeah. Laid off of it, 98, yeah. What balls he's using? I didn't even look when I, I was playing. I'm not sure. I knew it wasn't stouts. That's what I use. So. Yeah, I use stouts too, so I'm, I'm familiar with the stouts, and I know he was not using stouts, but. Mm-hmm. Steve, what balls do you use? Grabbers. Yeah, Steven is using the grabbers, so. I think Adam uses stouts. 15, Gavin Harris and Michael Jager. Adam, Adam, what balls do you use? Oh, streaks, not stouts. Are oh, you safe? Almost rolled into the rough. I prefer to go left on most of this look. Yeah, me too. Um, every once in a while, if you got the wind with you and kind of where that pin position is, right. I mean, that's one of the times you're going to go over there to the right. Um, Cause if you go over there to the right where they're at, I mean, you're pretty much, you're always hitting the driver. Um, right. How was your weekend? Uh, it was all right. Um, I mean, I'm a fairly new player, so right. 1,400 games, 27 handicap. I'm, uh, I qualify 77th overall, so, I mean, from where I'm at in yeah. gameplay, I'm, uh, you know, doing the best I can. But, you know, play more, get better is what they say, So, which is true. <laughs> I just I went from playing 30 games a month to 250 a couple of years ago. So I, I guess we'll say my handicap went from about a 20 to a 28 in that span wow yeah well i mean that's that's it i mean it's really you know play more get better come to these tournaments you know learn exactly. something i mean every time i've i've only been to a few tournaments you know um and i've learned something from everybody i've played with every time so um and that's what it's all about is uh but it's always fun no matter how good or bad you do you have a good time so right. that's one thing you can guarantee every time well, you come to a tournament so. when you, to get better you got to try the new shots even though you may feel uncomfortable from don't just stick to the same thing that you're comfortable with if you want it to get better. Oh, yeah. You got to be able to move the ball and whatnot. Learn the fools, you know, you different things. Absolutely. So here, you're going to have to a do a little cutting. swerve on it. Yeah, pillow cut on it. Get around those trees. Can't see that yard. Are you at 304? Uh, 304, yeah. If I'm doing high T, I, I, well, remember it's stouts, but I'll do that four wood. High T, little cutty on that situation, or that ten and a half medium. Well, yeah, and, and then you know they're going high T that because I mean you're going to put a little baby cut on it. That's going to take off distance, so you kind of offset that with the high T a little bit. So, so one stroke uh, lead still um, from the damage on hole two. Um, so we're other than that, that's the only difference here. Adam's playing clean thus far. A little thumb action and safety play. Yep. Yeah. It's a tough one to go at because uh, you don't have a lot of green to go if you attack it. So Adam's playing it, played it safe, you know, kind of put it over there. Only only way to really attack that is with a cut. I wouldn't try it. Yeah, yeah. Put a little shot. swerve on it. Yeah, exactly. So it looks like Steve might be. Yeah, he's it looks like he's cut. going. Yeah. Um, we'll see what he's doing here. I think he may be rethinking. I think he's going right he's at it. Back, yeah, back yeah. to straight. Yeah, he's going right at it. Oh, no, no he did put a card on. Nope. Not bad. Oh, 
All right, so after 9-14, uh, 13, uh, Adam has a one-stroke lead. Uh, a lot of holes left here. Uh, you can get it back on, so. <clears throat> yeah, sure, Jamaica. All day long. Yeah, the That's beauty it. of Jamaica, um, I mean, really, it doesn't, I mean, 18 can always be one that just, you know, makes it difficult. Two to four strokes, possibly. Yeah, we were talking about Oakwood earlier. Um, you know, watch and you know, doing a match on Oakwood, and that's about the easiest eighteen, probably on all the courses. But Jamaica might be the hardest. Right. Um, so. Hi, Mouth. How you doing? Yeah, M Mouth is uh commentating on our commentating. So. I'm a little steamy. Tummy bite there might have been the play, but shot nonetheless. Safe shot. You don't want that wind to care and put yourself in damage, but. So Steve smooths it up there with a bite. I like it. Oh, great. Wow. In what, the hole. What did I tell you about bite, son? I know, right? <laughs> hey, hey, good call on that one. Beatty. I just, as Adam shot, yeah. I, I said the play was bite. You pulled it off. Well, who's listening to me? I so Mac, o them. Mac over here just uh, called that one. Uh, Adam puts backspin and comes up short, and he puts the bite on it and holds it out. So yeah. we're all square. There you go. We got a match. Man. So this is one uh, can be a little bit of swing hole, depending on how it sets up. It's gonna be tough to get this uh, close to the pin. You really just want to kind of get it as close. Give yourself for a, putt. a twenty foot putt, twenty five yeah. foot putt. Exactly. Like that. Anything else would be gravy. He's gonna put a little baby cut around those trees, get it over, and just try to put it in the middle of the green. Really. There's a forty five foot putt. Yeah. It's still not a bad shot. I mean. Oh. Now, sometimes you can look up. Uh, there's sometimes right. a little angle through those trees that you can high to it and go straight at it, but it doesn't look like this is, eh, I mean. What's that distance? 260? 262 right. on the distance. I mean. With, with that look, you could even hit a five-wood normal tee. So he's going to kind of swerve it around. Same thing. Let that wind kind of kick in. That's a, a good shot. Long. Yeah, but. Same spot. Yeah. It's hard to, I mean, there's not really a way to attack that. So um, both of them have a nice putt right there by Adam. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not gimmies, but definitely uh, for two good players like that, uh, should be makeable. So. Should go in 90% of the time, 80% of the time. Absolutely. Uh, Steve pushed it out too much. You, you want to miss it high, but he missed it a little too high, so. On the match beside him, we got Sugar Shane beating mouth by one. Shane's a good cat. I qualified with him, even though we had some uh, ball troubles during the during our round. We had a couple thumbs go 75. That's tough uh, to figure, but a uh, uh, lot of game play this weekend. Oh, absolutely, a lot of great players here too. I mean, with that pin both ways accessible i'd probably prefer the way he's going right now yeah you put you put it over to the left on the fairway that wind is gonna be you can't really get close to the hole with that way is tucked in there so, uh the safest shot is or the best shot to get it close is to put it out there you know in the rough and oh jesus oh and steve just he didn't did what i did yeah he he didn't put it out a little much well he, he, the, the shot in the fairway with that green rolling right if you you throw something at it you can still get it rolling down towards the hole. Yeah. Oh, it offsets the break for sure. So, Steve yeah. just went and, hugely safe. And Adam did not leave Adam. himself a yeah. He he did not leave himself a gimme on the second next shot there. So, 
So this is where Steve wanted to be on his second shot, but he's hitting three right now going in the water. Um, so the biggest thing right now is when you make a little mistake, just shake it off and kind of move on. It's hard sometimes because it, it'll stick with you a few holes. It's a marathon, not a sprint. Exactly. Yeah, being in the fringe that much, you can't put that uphill. So he's gonna he's gonna run it, run at it hard with the five hybrid. Uh, yeah. So it could have been, a, yeah, exactly. It could have been a little more damage there hitting in the water, but uh, Steve got a little lucky with Adam hitting it far on that one. So three forty four with a crosswind. Well, you can you can pound a nine and a half with. Like up straight push. Yeah, look, he has an eight and a half here. So eight and a half's really that's not going to clear up most time, depending on the look. But a lot of times people are going to hit a ten five here. Ten five high. Yep, yeah, yeah. and just to get uh, enough to clear it to get up on the green. So Adams, Adams thinking about it here. I can't see him hitting that eight five. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he, he's clubbing down to the ten five. He's just kind of lining up. Getting his distance. Oh, he is just pushing it to the front. Subtle. Yeah. Yeah. That that's hard with streaks, man. I mean, oh, it's yeah. not gonna stick. I mean you gotta you gotta land on the bottom and let it I, run up. I played streaks before I played stouts, so I went from one extreme to the other. <laughs> wow. I'm thinking I about I was, I was waiting until after this tournament. I was thinking about going to uh, the Titans. Titans, yeah. I mean, a lot of people love them, man. I mean, you you get the distance, but then you also have the backspin as well. Right. Um, so or spin either way. But we had uh, we've got about eight, ten guys that play with us at our place, and now I believe everybody's on stouts. We've all stout nation. Oh yeah, it's uh, stouts are blowing up. Or are they MJ? MJ plays Titans now. Yeah. When Cav plays something else. A lot of people are converting to the Titans, and it's interesting. Yeah, Adam. Uh, Adam Lord. just. Yeah. You've been there. It's tough to. When you hit in the water, you want to limit the damage there, and Adam definitely uh, All right. did not do that, and that's uh, frustrating. So, Steve just got his strokes back and more. So. Stevie is getting some gifts handed to him. He is. He is. So three start lead now after that hole. Well, Adam's gonna have to hole hunt here a bit. Yeah, I mean the thing about it is a match play. You, you want you you know you got to make it up, but at the same time you don't want to press too much to where you lose even more strokes. Definitely. And Steve just about hold out there, so that's uh, he's trying to put this match to bed. Um, I mean being on fourteen, making up. You know, three strokes against Steve. I mean, that's that's tough because he knows he can kind of play it safe. Like in your match, he, he he even though he didn't put it close and he missed maybe a putt, he had that to work with. He's yeah. not going to do anything stupid. You know, just you know, put it close. You miss your putt, you only lose well, one. You don't you don't ever want to play too safe. That's another thing. That's what Adam. I was just talking to him after his match. Yeah, being up five, he you know, he, Lodolf came back from five strokes. So you you still want to. Play your we'll game. Go at pins, exactly. Yeah, yeah play, play your, your game. Play what you're comfortable with. Yeah. Because then you start playing it safe, then you, honestly, a lot of times you play it safe, you make more mistakes. Because you're not playing your normal game, so. Mm -hmm. So pretty straightforward. This is one of the easier looks probably Adam is yeah, not definitely. liking because uh, sometimes you can get some strokes back on this hole, but this is a very favorable tee box. To where they can kind of go straight at it. A lot of times you're gonna have to, you know, curve it around and go back into it. But yeah, a little pushy right. Yeah. A little bite on the ball. And Nothing fancy. You could even leave this alone with his balls, but yeah, with stouts as we're aware of, though, we would probably put bite on it and yeah, let it set off. He is but, too. Yeah. Oh, he's going high TX. Okay. Yeah. That's gonna be baby this up there. Yep. Pop it up there and make your putt. Yeah. That's all you gotta do. A 100. He's got Steve's got a very nice touch game. Um, you know, a lot a lot of people offset their power with thumbs or whatnot, but right. he's uh he's definitely got a very smooth touch game and he's 
he's you know around 100 when he smooths it like that so he he knows his shots for sure So with only four holes left, uh, Adam knows he's going to have to start pressing slightly. I mean, you have no choice, really. Exactly. He's going to hole hunt the whole way around now. Yep. And that looks good. I like that shot. In the hole. Yeah, that's a great shot. Try. So I'm going to enjoy my lamb dinner tonight because MJ and I walked to the grocery store. <laughs> we are done having water burgers in and out every night. So, so we, you had a Whataburger? We've had Whataburger. And, what do you and think about glass. that? Well, I enjoy the green chili, which isn't. So we asked for the green chili combo, and the guy looks at me and goes, that's on the west side of Texas. West, you got to be west of Abilene. I'm like, I came here for that. Well, I will be trying either Whataburger tonight or tomorrow because I went to In-N-Out last night, and I was not overly impressed. And everybody, I said that Whataburger is better than In-N-Out. So we're going to try Whataburger and compare I, the two. But Get the onion rings. They got good onion rings for a fast food chain. Sounds good. Well, we went to the grocery Appreciate store the advice. and grabbed uh, <laughs> rosemary lamb shanks. So we're just inviting people for a holiday Austin dinner, and it's served out of a microwave in our hotel. So. <laughs> See, Mac, you know, mess me up now, man. I was not hungry, and then you start talking about all this, and uh, so now a little, little cutty in here. Everybody's yeah. been short, so he just played it safe out to the right. That's a good, yeah. smart play. Yeah, yeah. You got the lead. I mean, just put it on the green, make a cut. And this is, a, I mean, with that pin position, you you can't attack that. I mean, you just, I mean. There's a one in a hundred chance probably you hold this out with that because you really just want to put the backspin on it, pop it up on the green, make a putt. But Adam, being down by three, he has to think about it. I mean, the issue here is, though, if uh, him thinking about doing it and he's trying to pop it right up on the green and put it by the hole, he'll end up in the bunker. So it's tough. Oh, he's, he's going out there putting some curve on it. So he's actually... Yeah, he's going. Well, he's going for it, it. You got to know what course you're playing too. On it's not just how many holes. Keep going. Great that try. is a hell. That's a that's a great shot. I mean, it really is. Because as you were mentioning earlier, 18 can be a big swing. Yeah. So you know you got that still there. Because wow. the last thing you want to do is there's one back. Yep. Yep. That's all he can hunt for, really. And you got two more holes. I mean, 18 can help. Well, Adam, he gets one back here, so. Machine 10. All you can do is give yourself a shot here. Graham, Brian Holt. So both players Daisy are playing Graham. very good. Brian you just Holt. had the one one hole by Adam that uh it's actually, it's actually not a bad luck. No. Nah. You can let the wind fight it and the green pull back. Wind helps you with the slope of the green, so yeah. with his grabbers, I don't know whether whether our high tee comes back enough. I know our stouts wouldn't, but. Well, no, Adam, Adam uh, was one on streaks, one oh, on Steve, Steve's shoot. on grabbers. Oh, okay. Yeah. There you go. So, yeah, he's so, going to use an extra club. And, you know, yeah. So, he's just trying to, it's going to be hard, obviously, for right. those streaks to kick back, right. but that's Great about shot. as good as you can. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's beautiful. And the wind with the backspin is going to help it kick back harder. So. For sure. So right now, Steve just wants to, I mean, Adam puts a little pressure on him because he don't he don't want to lose one more stroke because he knows 18 is coming up, you know. So right now, Steve just wants to get himself a favorable putt and move on to 18. You just got to trust yourself here and give yourself an, a good putt because you start playing too safe. A 25-footer with a right 10 on or the left 10 is not going to be oh, what you're thinking about with water behind you and everything. So The best players in the world are going to miss, miss that putt sometimes. So it's, yeah, that, that's nice all you want to do right that's there. Good shot. Yeah. A little cutty in there. Absolutely. Don't get a rollover and you're fine. There you go. All right, so we're going to 18. Uh, we got a two-stroke advantage here. Uh, the side, the side note to that is it's huge advantage that uh, Adam has to go first and he's exactly. going down. So he's, he's getting a look at. Yeah, and this is this a great one setup. of yeah. It's it's not a very you difficult. Can, you compared. can make this. Yeah. This is one of the easier setups you're going to see on this hole. Um, don't have really any crosswind. Just put a little baby cut around the trees there and, you know, put it on the green. I mean, right. that's definitely what Steve's going to be thinking. He's not trying to attack it and just pop it up on that bottom tier and, you know, 
even if you miss your putt, you got that little bit of insurance. So. For sure. So that, Adam pretty much is thinking here that, <laughs> I mean, really, I got a hole out. I mean, he's going to be aggressive. Mm -hmm. um, so he's kind of looking at his options. I mean, probably the best shot most people are going to do is put a baby cut around the trees. Probably baby cut either. Well, now he's going high T, so. Yeah. I, with our stouts, he's a uh, little normal T is fine. But you wouldn't want it to grab too much because you want it to kind of roll out and give yourself a shot. And he's done that. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's right an excellent shot. Yeah, I mean. 15 feet short. There's nothing else so you can do there. So I don't see Steve saying short on any chance of this shot because that's where he can get in some situations. Yeah. Spe well, speaking of those rocks that are up front in 18, I don't know if you heard the roar yesterday, but it was uh, it was Pete Butler from Seattle. He stymied behind the rock five clicks right? oh yeah i did i i heard it y'all y'all were a couple of machines to the left the, of me right. over there then, and then that, oh yeah he, he almost i hope it, i hope that went to youtube did they not and we couldn't it was last shot so it was we couldn't oh, save wow. it so we were hoping someone saw it later in the night there it is it, yeah yeah congratulations steve b yep and anyway Solid when this match. shot hits that rock and goes must have been 60 yards in the air bounce on the top tier trickles down makes it yeah, hey, it's a solid match by both yeah. players. I mean, it really the one hole, and that's what it comes down to. So, hey, B, I'm gonna get Beatty on here since he just got gifts from myself and Adam Harris, <laughs> and he can explain himself. Two, two, uh, two gifts in a row. Compliments to the gifts from Christopher McKenzie, the Canadian, and Adam Harris. Here's your uh, round three guy, right. Steve Beatty. So we're uh, hopping on with Steve. You still got Derek Montgomery here. Uh, we got Steve Beatty. All right, so now we got Steve uh, joining us. He's been on the past uh, couple streams here on uh, on the Golden Tee TV stream here. And both matches, uh, Steve, it was very interesting. Both matches you were down uh, slightly early. Uh, you kind of kept playing your game and everything, and uh, both players kind of gave it back, had big holes to where you got it back, and then you just kind of coasted from there and played it safe, and you won both of them. So congratulations. Thank you. I, that's actually kind of been the story of my day. I, I was making a joke with these guys. I, I, I was like, it doesn't matter if I go first or second. I feel like I'm always down one after one or two. Like, I, whether it's self-inflicted or they hold something. Or they hold, yeah. yeah. It's a, so I, I, I've actually been like a higher seed and been like, no, I'll go first. I tried to change my lock, but it hasn't worked. So like, even there, Adam was like, Eesh. Adam was a higher seed. He's like, I'll go first. I was like, well, it doesn't matter because I'll be down one after two anyway. <laughs> yeah, either way. And, and then that was the case. Yeah, both matches. I mean, you 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 hung in there both matches, and I mean, and think about it, you kept playing your game, and 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 both players gave it back. I mean, that's what it boiled down to. So you, you just got you got to hear shots. You know? Yeah. Just, don't don't let don't it get, get to too you. Aggressive. I, I I learned my lesson a little bit earlier today. I, I, I chased and match play a little bit. I got down early one two. And then I started chasing them, and then I lost my life. So that, that was my first loss today. And I was like, you know what? Don't do that. Just just play your game. Play your shots. Try to hold out when you can. Yeah. And then, But don't get too aggressive. Yeah. And if you play clean the rest of the way, I mean, and they play clean the rest of the way, you can't you know call. What? Yeah. Congrats to the, Congrats yeah. to the guy yeah. playing clean. Yeah. And, and, I mean, you, you, you're very impressive. I mean, like I said, even though you were down, you, you kept playing your game. And, uh, that, that, that honestly, personally, that's where I went wrong, you know, playing last night in the purple because – I did it today too. So. <laughs> it, it happens, to everybody. I mean, it's a whole different ball game playing, you know, in your hometown and everything. And then you come out here, and then you know the nerves kick in a little bit, and and you know the players you're playing with are very good players, so it's it's hard to keep that up. So uh, we're looking at uh, seeing who we're going to get on this next uh, stream here, and uh, we'll be uh, getting on a, uh, another match here. So maybe uh, Steve and other ones. We'll see. <laughs> Maybe. You're, you're doing pretty good on the stream. Keep, so Keep my fingers crossed. Yeah, no, right. <laughs> so, Steve, uh, tell everybody uh, wh where are you from and uh, what's your player name and uh, just kind of give a little bit about it, your Golden Tee history here. So uh, I am uh, from Michigan. Okay. Uh, Golden Tee name, I just changed it about a week ago to Mr. Misunderstood. Yep. A little Air Church reference. 
Uh, nice. I've learned I've learned that nobody here understands what that means because nobody listens to country music here. <laughs> I, I like country music. The <laughs> the newer country music, maybe not, but right. Uh, um, Cody Jinx, I like Cody Jinx if you've ever heard of him, but anyway. So I started playing Golden Tee on a weird coincidence. I, I, I was in the Army. I played a lot of pool when I was in the Army. Okay. I was a like really good pool player. Nice. I got to the point where nobody wanted me to play me in pool anymore. And like one night, I happened to like beat the same guy like eight times in a row. I was like, I'll change the language. Screw you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're not playing pool. Let's play this golf game. And I was like, I don't know what that is. And th- this was 2001. And I was like, eh. Let's play it. It's back in the old, had, old days. He had crawled played Swamp, crawled at Swamp originally, is, right? In 2001. Swamp, yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I, so I, I live in, I, uh, I'm from Michigan, but at the time I got out of the army and moved to Nashville. So I'm living in Nashville. This guy had, had played Golden Tee quite a bit at that time. He, like he was good in the aspect of he was shooting probably under par. Yeah. And my first game, everybody knows how the first game was. Yeah. Oh yeah. But somebody was better than me in something. And so it I gives was, you that motivation. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to learn this game. I'm going to play this game. And I played the game. For, I, I got better than he was in Nashville. I moved back to Michigan. I found a couple of people that were playing in Michigan. I, st- I was like, oh, I'm really good now. I can shoot like a 19 under par. Like I, I was like, I'm, I'm like, I'm like one of the, I didn't even know like the, the, the other the, world. The national the of landscape yeah. of but, the But I was players. like, I can shoot a 19 under. Like nobody can do that. Yeah. And then I start. I met Demko and. Walt and uh, all these other guys from, from Michigan and, and, and I was like oh what did you do there what, that, you pulled that back straight and threw it out and left what what did that even wow what like and it, and it shaved like you I, th- I thought you were going to go like way long and, and you and it came back and you hold it like what how'd you do that what, what did you do like yeah. it, was, it was so that was so I learned cut shots from, from these guys who were way better than I was like, I was like ah oh, I'm 19 under but now I learned now I'm going to go back on my own game, and I'm going to try to practice that. Yeah. Cut shots, cut shots. And whew. from there on, it was just kind of you fell in love with the game, and the, the, the rest is history. Bought a home machine. Well, let's be clear. My wife bought me a home machine, so I don't go to the <laughs> bar anymore. I know, hey, that's smart. I mean, you know. I mean, my, my best friend, uh, Josh McDaniel, I'm, well, I'm from South Carolina, but uh, his wife, he's got a home machine. And, of course, I mean, I think that's great because it keeps you out from the bar. So It does. Yeah. Um, and, you know, it, it did pay for itself in a year. Like, not yeah. having the bar tabs, not going out. Yeah, $5 People game or, house, yeah. yeah, all that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. All right, well, so we're going we're gonna to sign off here. This is Derek Montgomery signing off. We're going to get back on here in a minute once we get a matchup here. Everybody take care.